at us with more on the cult classics final chapter. Wait a minute. You ain't got to come here and lie, Iron. You guys aren't done, are they? This isn't it. We're done, yeah. No. You know, the movie ties it up really nicely. The last couple scenes are very poignant, very uh, beautifully written, just to, to tie not just Sharknado 6 together, but to weave in the prior movies as well. So there's no cliffhanger at the end of this one. Oh, it's like a shark tapestry. <laughs> a shark tapestry. A shark ta I like the way you think. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. I Can I use like, that? Uh, I'm going to stop uh, saying no, no, that. It's no, no, like no, a shark wrote, no, no, no. That's ours. That's ours. That's ours, Ian. Don't do it, Ian. I feel like uh, Jason. <laughs> I feel like Jason Statham and the Meg owes you some Meg money this weekend. They had a big shark movie, made a ton of mo money, but I feel like you guys have been promoting the shark movies all this week on Sci-Fi, and you helped them out. Yeah. You will cut, baby. You know, they spent $150 million on the Meg, and we spent maybe $2 million on Sharknado. Yeah. I, you know, when I think of that difference and what we're able to deliver... Um, it's almost astonishing um, what, what we're able to deliver for such little money. Um, we're not a major motion picture box office kind of movie. We're a TV movie, and we're the most successful TV movie in the history of TV movies. There's been already over a billion Twitter impressions, and that was only after Sharknado 2. Now, while The Meg may bring in a ton of money, Sharknado ultimately is going to bring in more fans. It's just ah, more fun. Yeah. It has proven more to do accessible. that for sure. You know, I, I was thinking, Ian, most, peop, most crews, like when you get through shooting, you have a big, big party, right? You have a big rap party. I feel like you guys celebrate when you find out you're coming back for another one. You have a big party before you start to <laughs> shoot because you're surprised that you're inviting you back I, to do this again. There's lots of reasons to rejoice. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we wrapped Sharknado 6 in freezing conditions in Romania. And when we were done, there was nobody hanging out to hug goodbye. We were <laughs> out of there like, I'm done. Get me out of here. It was so cold. Um, but we'll, we'll all get together. There'll be a little premiere party here in uh, Los Angeles down by the beach. Uh, it's going to be a little smaller scale than it has been in the past. But the production crew will be there, the actors. I'm sure there'll be some press. Uh, we'll all be on social media. I'm at Ian Zeering. Mm -hmm. I'll be posting behind-the-scenes pictures. Um, engaging with the fans. It's really, it's really for the fans that, that this movie has uh, continued to, to go on, on and on and on. It's, oh, yeah. it's so amazing to me. During this NATO journey, do you feel like you've learned more about tornadoes or more about sharks Ooh. from going through this experience, sir? Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Safe space. I haven't learned anything about sharks <laughs> or tornadoes. <laughs> Neither have we. Come on. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. I hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> but uh, no, there's, there's no sharks on set. I know, hard to believe. Oh. So authentic, so real. No tornadoes. Oh. No. What I learned a lot was working on a wire in front of green screen, working in, um, in uh, a dimension where it's just me, but having to react to a pre-life of what's happened and then a post-life, meaning like if there's a shark coming at me and I have to deal with it and then what happens afterwards. Um, my skills, my green screen skills and my awareness of the environment uh, has grown so much because at first I didn't have trust. I didn't know what ah. they were going to paint. But once I saw the movie and magically a safety net appeared. I was much more free in my movements knowing that the visual effects artists weren't going to clown me. Uh -huh. you know, if I go like this, they're going to put a fish that's commensurate with that kind of reaction, even though at the time it's an action, they made my reaction plausible. You know, now when I'm slicing through a shark, even though there's nothing there, I'll look over my shoulder because whatever I do, the VFX artists are going to cover my back. They're going to play so off that, yeah. In Sharknado 5, I, I like jumped in the air and I sliced through a shark, but then I watched it go. So I have an understanding of the environment a lot more. It was a lot, I learned a lot in the green screen environment. I'm a green screen artist now. You are, yeah, you are. You are a green screen artiste. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, my son and I have thoroughly enjoyed all these movies. <laughs> We've had such a good time watching them. I and Jeremy, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate your time, man. Enjoy. This I appreciate last you guys too. Thanks, everybody. Sharknado. Hey, come visit Sacramento whenever you get a chance, buddy. We're always here. Don't bring any we'll sharks, do. though. Don't you bring any sharks? None. All right, deal.
Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We're safe here.